found an open packet in my truck of the C4. I think I really need it today. I am really, really tired and I almost did not get up to go to the gym. This almost did not happen. So I think I'm gonna take the rest of this packet right here. And then I've got my BCAAs in here, my Silly Core BCAAs, because I never, ever trained without drinking my BCAAs right here. These are my babies. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna drive to the gym and hopefully find some energy along the way to get this workout in. I have such scraggly hair right now because last night I was so tired, I just went to bed. I didn't even take my braid out or take off my makeup from yesterday at work. So I just went straight to bed. So <laughs> I'm like, in, this is like a rat's nest back here, but you know what? I don't care. It's, it's the morning time. I'm about to get a workout in and mess it all up anyway. So, but I'm here. Um, yeah, it almost did not happen this morning. I absolutely, I like hate working out in the morning. I have like zero motivation most of the time to get up and work out in the morning. Anything before like 10 o'clock, I do not like working out in the morning. It takes a lot for me to uh, get up and get going. I just feel, I'm just not awake. I guess because I don't have like a whole lot of food in my body. So I wake up hungry. Um, I did, you know, y'all saw me make like a pre-workout, like breakfast before I actually came here. But I just don't feel, I'm not warmed up. My body still like aches and hurts from, you know, the day before. Just being stiff and just kind of achy from sleeping. So it takes a really long time for my body to like really warm up and get going. And I just don't lift very well in, in the morning time. I could do cardio like all morning, like especially during like my competition preps, like I, I'll, I would do like a lot of fasted cardio. That's completely fine. I could do that like all day. But when it comes to actually lifting and like lifting heavy and properly, my lists like just they're just not that great in the morning every once in a while i'll have a pretty good workout but it's really hard for me to get a really good decent workout in, in the morning times so i just i just don't if i can avoid working out in the morning i will um but today i work 2 p.m to 10 p.m so i'm definitely not going to come work out um like at 11 o'clock at night tonight because it's friday and when i get off work i'm just gonna go home and go to bed because i have to work saturday and sunday and then monday so I'm on an eight day working streak, so I'm a little tired. Yesterday it really hit me of how tired I actually was, and that's one reason why I almost did not get up this morning to come here and work out. But it's my last workout, scheduled workout of the week, and I wanna get it done, and I've got legs and a shoulder combination split, training split workout, and I'm gonna take you with me, so let's go work out with Kels. I'm also super mad that I forgot my wireless headphones. So now I gotta use the wire one so <sighs> we'll see how that goes so I actually completely forgot that I got a new phone I got the new iPhone 7 and you have to have the adapter to use the wire headphones and I left the adapter at home so I guess I'm gonna be doing this workout with no music and just the yelling and screaming of the people behind me and the music that's playing overhead which usually sucks in the gym so happy uh, morning workout to me okay so first got squat to toes. I got 20, 15, and then 10 reps. Um, I'm also going to superset it with some like pop squats, but with each rep, I'm actually going to increase the weight. And that's going to be the first exercise of the morning.
have is sumo deadlift to straight leg deadlift using a kettlebell and I'm sitting on two benches. I got it set up right here and I'm using a 40 pound kettlebell and I got set three sets. It's 15, 10, and then 12. and I'm going to be doing a deadlift to upright row using the cable machine. Now this is going to use a lot of muscle to mind connection. I'm using a much lighter weight so I'm using the 25, um, 25 pounds right here so I can do it a proper upright row so I'm really going to have to focus on engaging my glutes when doing the deadlift. So it's going to be a little weird but it's going to be a really good combination so I'll show you. I got sets, uh, three sets of 12 to 15 rows. I've got some rope crunches. I'm gonna do three sets of 15 followed by a super set of lat pull downs using the same rope attachment. Three sets of 15. Now, I'm just going to end it with 10 minutes of like moderate intensity on the stationary bike, and then we're good to go. Actually, a pretty decent workout. I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with myself. So, I'm just going to get on here, do some 10 minutes of a little bit of light to moderate cardio, and then we're going to call it a day, call it a morning, whatever you want to call it. I really wish this weather would make up its mind. The other day, or a couple of days ago, the high was like 35, like 40 degrees. Now, today's high is going to be 78 degrees. <laughs> And it's January, January 13th. Just kind of wish that, you know, the weather make up its mind because roll well, now, I got to cut my heater on in the morning and then when I leave for work, I'm like burning up so I got to cut my air on. And I mean, I'd rather it be warm, but I want some consistency. Like be cold for a couple of days, like a good couple of weeks at least, and then be warm for a couple of weeks. Like probably by like the end of next week, the high will be like in the 20s or 30s. But you know, this is just, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. This is just Alabama weather, guys. So now it's almost 9.30, I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna make me a post-workout, like second breakfast, 
with like some eggs, um, sweet potato and whatnot. I don't know. I'll show you. I'll show you what I make. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower. I wasn't planning on showering today. I kind of wanted to like go one more day without washing my hair, but I got actually really sweaty in the gym today and I stink. So I guess I should go ahead and shower. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, gotta get ready for work. Now somebody wants to go to the gym. Do you want to go to the gym without me this morning? Wait, I'm sorry I this worked last night. What? I'm sorry I worked last night. Slay, what are you doing? Did you take a nap with Dad? Oh. What you doing? Same. You got your boombox on. You cooking me breakfast? Are you cooking me breakfast? No, I'm about to eat a second breakfast. I eat, I eat two breakfasts. Got some bacon. Three egg whites, a cup of sauteed spinach, a couple of tomatoes over here, and four ounces of sweet potatoes. Such a beggar. Pants and boots and boots and pants, boots and pants, pants and boots and boots and pants. Looking extra country today. Flannel button up and my Ariat boots. It's like my favorite winter clothing to wear and basically just because all I own is cowboy boots and tennis shoes so that's what I wear in the winter time even to work even though it's 78 degrees outside and it's 12 almost 12 15 70 78 degrees outside so I've got to cut my hair on but I freeze at work so I still have to wear like long sleeve or pants well I I'm always cold at work so I will always wear winter clothes to work no matter how hot it is outside but my patients love my cowboy boots. I get complimented on my cowboy boots by like everybody. So my patients love the boots. I mean, I grew up in the country and so even though I live in the city now, the city of Auburn, I still wear my cowboy boots because that's what country girls wear. Just got here to work. It's a little bit before two o'clock uh, Eastern time. So we're at two to 10 Eastern time. Two to 10 is my least favorite least favorite shift to work obviously because it's so late so I don't get off work till 10 o'clock I still get back home around 10 o'clock but still just no one wants to work 2 to 10 and you never know what you're going to walk into um, when you work 2 to 10 uh, and it looks pretty crazy already in the parking lot so I'm already kind of dreading uh, what is happening in there and usually Fridays believe it or not are one of our busiest work work days during the week uh, usually like Monday Tuesday are pretty busy and then Fridays are uh, pretty busy as well. So again, taking the few moments that I have left, just kind of get my mindset right and hopefully have a great day. I work this weekend. I work eight to four Saturday, eight to four Sunday, and I work Monday, 10 to six. So not too thrilled about working the weekend, but I guess someone's got to do it. <laughs> but I, I'm super excited because me and Cody actually, we have some, friends that are coming into town. They moved away a couple of months ago, but they're coming back in town to come visit. So something I get to look forward to tomorrow, they're actually coming in tonight. So I won't see them tonight because I'll just go home and go to bed and I gotta get up early, but I'll get to go out with them tomorrow night. So I'm really excited to see them and hang out with everybody. Cause I haven't gone out and like hung out with friends in a really long time. It's just been working so much, been so busy. Everybody's been gone for the holidays and whatnot, but I'm um, really excited to see them, so that's something I get to look forward to. But anyways, this is going to conclude the vlog. I'm going to go into work. Hopefully have a great work day. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll just catch y'all in the next one. Bye!